Alexis Joy from Alexis Joy VIP Access. I am so very excited to be chatting with you all today and extra thrilled because Big Nate premieres on Paramount Plus February 17th. Yes. <laughs> now, first off, can you tell us what the experience has been like for you all getting to bring out your incredible characters and bring them to life? I mean, it's been a very unique experience. It was very different, obviously, because we're recording from home, from our home booths and everything. And so you know, initially you'd think that there'd be some sort of disconnect or distance, you know, between our performances and our chemistry, but it was the exact opposite of that. We had a, you know, this amazing chemistry, amazing connection and energy. It's just, it's been really fun. And it's actually, it's just truly been a blessing and like, just like a bright light and, you know, a wild, you know, couple of years, obviously. And so it's something that I just look forward to every session. Um, and so the experience has just truly been so fun and just really positive and exciting. Just to, you know, jump off of what Bryce was talking about, it's been a, it's been a dream really uh, from start to finish. Um, there were those really fun growing pains that we can all uh, adjust to as far as working separately in booths, you know, whether it was uh, having to buy new Ethernet cables because they didn't fit in the apartments like going all the way or uh, being able to connect via text message outside of sessions and, and just joking around in sessions. Um, it's just been so fun to work with everyone. And, and the way we did it was, I think, so unique to other jobs I've had, at least, and I'm sure everyone else, too. So it's, it's just been so much fun from start to finish. Hey, I'm going to jump on the fun thing because it legitimately, I feel like I somehow snuck it into like a an amazing voiceover group and where I'm like, hey, I'm just going to mess around and do whatever and like hope they don't fire me. And I haven't been fired yet. And it truly is the, the most like I think when you watch the show, you cannot help but feel that like we are having an amazing time with this and just connecting with the cast and like, truly being blown away by everyone and and, and just literally i've literally cried in my booth laughing at moments it's um it is it is the best time that is so wonderful you all have really created such a special special show with big nate and i've seen the episodes i am already obsessed and i can't wait to see all of the adventures you all go on so this is a perfect series for people of all ages now i have to ask you all because at the end of the very first episode we hear a special classic song i'm not going to say what it is so everyone can tune in to hear what song it is but i have to ask you what song would be your anthem for your middle school or sixth grade era <laughs> oh my gosh wow what a question <laughs> That's a great question i don't know if i'll be able to rack my brain and answer it accurately <laughs> it's probably for me it's probably something to do with musical theater there's always some I want song or some, you know, like I'm going to achieve my goal song, you know, that I feel like I could just insert there. What particular song is not immediately coming to me because there's so much music in my head. Um, <laughs> well, that isn't, that's a really fun question. I feel like I'm going to like sit with that question for the rest of the day and then think of it at like 8 PM and be like, darn it. Why didn't I say that? <laughs> Yeah, well, the options are limitless, especially when you are surrounded by a lot of music, which is amazing, Bryce. Daniel, Arnie, do you have any middle school songs that you are proud of? I, I think for me, it would just be all the songs from my bar mitzvah on, on loop, from like my the, <laughs> the prayers to the dancing at the end, just from start to finish on loop, underscoring my entire uh, journey. That would that'd probably be my answer. Awesome. A whole playlist, right, Daniel? Exactly. <laughs> My, yeah, mine's uh, mine's Daniel's bar mitzvah as well. It's <laughs> amazing. Uh, no, I um, this is wild on the show. Uh, if, when I think of like uh, the music I would listen to as like a kid, it was like punk or like Nirvana or whatever. And what blew my mind is the uh, sound engineer that we're working on with a show named Ryan Green is a legend in the music industry, and he recorded one of my favorite punk rock albums as a kid. Uh, yeah, and, and no effects at Punk and Drublick. So I would say whatever it is, it would probably be punk. It would be something with a lot of energy and a lot of like, hey, let's just go like mess things up and see what happens. Perfect. So we have like a lot of different choices here. If we put every different genres. Yeah. <laughs> we, all, we all picked a genre of music. <laughs> yeah. so punk, cool. punk musical theater and bar mitzvah music. Yeah. <laughs> we need a big Nate playlist off of everyone's choices. So that's awesome. Love that. 
<laughs> now, also, I love being able to see all of Nate's drawings and the comics seen throughout the series. So if you could draw a drawing describing Big Nate, what would your picture look like? Oh, Ooh. I would truly. So Ben and I have known each other for over a decade. Like we're like, yeah, we, we tr like our relationship on the show is very much like a relationship in real life. You know, Ben plays Nate. Um, I have, I, I honestly would try my best to draw Ben. Cause like, I feel like, yeah, I feel like it, it he encapsulates the character um, it would most likely come out just looking like a like a misshaped circle, but <laughs> that would be my drawing, a misshaped circle. Ben definitely sets the tone for like mm -hmm. the energy of the show just brilliantly. So, so well done. And the, the energy and comedy that he brings is so great. Um, and we all play off of it so well, I feel. And so, yeah, it would definitely be, you know, like Nate in the center. For some reason, I imagine him with a jetpack on. I just feel like, but like a two, it fully, you know, like, college rule paper you know what i'm saying and nate in the center like <laughs> with a jetpack on like flying and then and then all of us sort of around him like just like supporting him and like just in the air being like a superhero or something that's just i don't know why that came to I mind the avengers <laughs> poster right now when you're saying yeah, 100%. you know maybe that i don't i really don't know what the subtext of that was but that is what came to my mind <laughs> so. i just thought of like a, one of those like classic cartoon clouds when you have like creatures either tumbling together or fighting yeah. with each other but we all of us Ben's like on top writing it uh <laughs> with you know pianos paint everything just surrounding it as we like go through an episode or go through life lots of color lots of color and like explosions absolutely Alexis throwing this out there I didn't know if you knew this um about the show that I am in love with is but as an homage to uh Lincoln Pierce who wrote the books and the comics they actually used his color palette uh oh for God. the show yeah so it like it will have very much that feel for all the diehard big nate fans out there and i feel like it plays into your music question too because it's all about nostalgia yeah you know yeah. nostalgia with the music choices nostalgia <laughs> with the color choices well and that's what i love about the show too is it feels like it can fit in in any time um it just makes you feel nostalgic just i think for your childhood maybe yeah that is amazing. Well, thank you so much for sharing that fun fact with us, Arnie, because there are so many special aspects about this series and it truly will connect people of all ages being able to touch on that nostalgia, but also bring in a whole new generation to love this show. But it was such a great pleasure chatting with you all and Nate truly has the greatest best friends he can ask for to bring with him on all of these adventures. But thank you so much again. And I cannot wait to see more episodes of Big Nate premiering on February 17th. Thank you all. Thank, thank you so much. Thank you.